You know what you're getting with the iPhone 5S. It offers one of the simplest, slickest user experiences around wrapped in an elegant body. So what about the new Samsung Galaxy S5? The company's shiny new top dog has a ton of features and a new design too. So how do you decide which one is right for you? If it's size that's the deciding factor, then it's a no-brainer. The iPhone boasts a 4-inch display wrapped in an aluminium body that's just 7.6mm thick. The Galaxy S5, on the other hand, is certainly a little more plastic fantastic and it had thicker 8.1mm, but its overall size is the most glaringly obvious difference. With a display of 5.1 inches, it's by far the larger device, but assuming you don't mind the extra bulk, it packs a lot of tech in an attempt to outdo Apple's star player. Both phones are charged using a centrally positioned port at their base. The 5S uses Apple's handy double-sided lightning connector. The S5 meanwhile charges by a regular micro USB, however the port is sealed by a rubberized cover. That's because the handset is IP67 certified, meaning it can survive a dunk in up to 3 feet of water for up to 30 minutes without too much trouble. If you want your iPhone to do that, you're going to need a serious case. When looking at screen size, the iPhone wins out for its convenience factor. The smaller 4 inch panel is easier to operate in single handed use and although there's a one handed mode on the Galaxy S5, it's only suitable in select situations. The iPhone's retina display is clear and offers more accurate colours than the S5, but as the S5 interface demonstrates, its screen is incredibly vivid with colours that truly pop. What small media buffs will appreciate being able to watch videos and movies on that expensive 5.1 inch Full HD Super AMOLED panel on the go. iOS 7 was a major shift when it arrived ahead of the iPhone 5S. It's clean, colourful and boasts some of the smoothest animations and transitions of any phone around. It also gives you access to the App Store, which arguably offers a choice of some of the highest quality mobile apps around. The Galaxy S5 is one of the first non-Nexus phones to run Android 4.4 KitKat, and in true Samsung style, it's been modified beyond recognition, with an almost overwhelming amount of control when it comes to customization. The most exciting new features include My Magazine, which brings you custom news from selected sources and your social feeds, as well as the latest version of S Health which helps you keep tabs on your exercise regime, as well as read your heart rate with the phone's integrated heart rate monitor. Samsung's phone is fast. It's one of the first to sport Qualcomm's latest quad-core processor, the Snapdragon 801, and it means that whatever app you want to run from Gmail to Asphalt 8, it'll work smoothly. The iPhone 5S is just as slick and snappy to use, and with the pairing of iOS 7 and the 64-bit A7 dual-core chip, it's going to be able to run some really intensive applications without breaking a sweat. If you have a lot of files you want to store, the Galaxy S5 is your best bet. Not only does it come in 16 and 32 gigabyte models just like the iPhone, but you can add in a micro SD card with up to an extra 128 gigabytes of storage on top. iPhone users only have the option of upgrading to a 64 gigabyte model and paying for iCloud storage after that. Battery wise, the iPhone will offer up a day of use without worry. It's great in standby, but certain tasks like watching video or web browsing will significantly slump the longevity. The S5 has a much larger 2800 mAh battery, which will cover you for approximately a day and a half. But with ultra power saving mode, you can push it much further, provided you're happy temporarily losing all of the smart elements of the smartphone. Perhaps the biggest battle between these two phones is in the camera department. The iPhone's 8 megapixel snapper is a great all-rounder with HDR mode, slow motion video recording and filters built in. The S5 meanwhile supports a massive 16 megapixel sensor and more features than you can count. Low light is better than on previous Galaxy S devices and you can film not only in full HD, but 4K. That's four times full HD resolution. There's also slow motion video recording at varying speeds and selective focus, which lets you take a photo and refocus the image afterwards, as well as a degree of manual control when shooting. All in all, the iPhone 5S does what it's always done best. It just works. It's simple to use, has plenty of power for apps and features, has one of the most enjoyable user experiences around and looks really, really good. In contrast, the Samsung Galaxy S5 is the phone for those who like to tweak and change their experience right down to the fine details. If you want to tinker with the interface, the S5 lets you do that. If you want to get creative with the camera, the S5 lets you do that. Features like the fingerprint sensor might be a little bit me too, and admittedly still need tightening up, but it offers something for everyone.